Welcome to Freelance Sucks. Here we discuss the dark side of freelancing about which nobody usually talks out loud. In this show, we speak with experienced freelancers, and I'm sure listening to their stories helps you prepare for freelancers' challenges. And my name is Yuri. I'm a community builder at Cold Control and 9 amworks And my guest is David Lulit, a freelance React Native developer with more than 10 years of experience, a book author, a live coding streams runner, a speaker, and a great ideator. So welcome, David. Welcome, Yuri. Welcome to the community. How are you today? What the I'm, last thing did you learn this week? It's a great question to start, you know, and I, I definitely ask everyone to pause at this moment and really think about one thing that you learned this week. And David, for you, what is the most challenging part of being a freelancer? Uh, people, <laughs> because they are, st- <laughs> no, they are not stupid, but, <laughs> but it's like, it's, uh, yes, many accounting. So I use Stripe. It's an amazing software platform, but why I can't pay my tax nicely with a good UX? It's, it's horrible to send papers. I need to talk to accounting people and some of them are good some of them are not good and for lawyers they are more it's more or less the same <laughs> so yeah but this it's it's complic- no it's not really complicated but at my level it's not complicated i i have clients in the us and in france and in uh, germany and when you and i'm a self business uh, man mm-hmm. so you can have uh, like a really 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 expensive accountant person who's going to manage like a business of uh, 500 people or something like that. But when you're alone, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like an error in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> so I would definitely say the most complex things is like paperwork and things like, because you're alone at the end. Well, even if you pay someone uh, to help you on paperwork and tax at the end, if you have a problem with the government, it's your own fault. So there is no like plan B. Mm-hmm. So, so they that's... have no responsibilities for what they are doing? No, it's probably on their notes at the end. Oh, <laughs> it's your, because you, for example, when you sign a paper, it's under your name. Why well, it depends. On, in yeah, my situation, yeah. I'm a self man, I'm a one man business company. So on my situation, it, it's that. But I'm pretty sure it's the same more or less in Germany or in other countries of the world. Or if you are a citizen in Estonia, <laughs> that's not the case. But that's that's it should be another episode just for you. <laughs> yeah, so basically I feel like to solve this problem you have to be a citizen of Estonia. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if people doesn't know, it's like yeah, they have automated more or less the all the paperwork for you and you have one dashboard and all the different services pull data from this uh, e-estonia citizen yeah. services so for example when you change your address all the government organization knows you change your address same for the phone same for the email in france it's not the same they send you forever papers and you don't know and uh, <laughs> Six months after they send you a tag. Oh, you didn't pay your tax. Yeah, but I never got the paper. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't I don't really know, but I heard a lot and I feel like the same as in Germany. Yeah. Okay. But there is also a case. So let's hope that one day <laughs> this problem will be solved. So uh, aside of that, aside of paperwork and all this stuff. What is the most time consuming thing you must deal with as a freelancer? Mm, it's not time consuming, but I feel it's time consuming. <laughs> it's the same dealing with invoices, <laughs> things like that, because the tools are not really up to date. But if you are using 9am, everything is more or less automated with toggle track. And that's awesome. <laughs> so toggle track. For people who don't know, it's like a service you just time track uh, your hours. Yeah. And after that, 9am code control automates the invoice for you. 
So you don't need to spend time on, oh, Monday I've done that, I've done that on this day. It's in real time. So that's, that, to be honest, that's awesome. I don't have the same for other clients, so I need to go on toggle track, export the um, invoice, send them through email. Oh, you are not on your system. Yeah, but how, what is your system? Oh, you know, we are using Gusta. So you need to like, <laughs> it's sorry, but every company have different systems, more or less. Mm -hmm. When you are in my situation, because I do React Native, so I have, it's like a niche. And every um, country has their own way to work. And you need, oh, you don't give us this paper X, Y, Z. It's like, no, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's because the people, the person who is in charge is on vacation. So we can't pay you now. So it's like, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> so <laughs> it's. I just push that. two buttons and just pay me, you know? Like... <laughs> yes, come on. It's like ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, I would say that and probably finding new class sales, finding new clients. But, but now I'm used to, I'm used to like, I'm not a programmer anymore. I'm a sales guy. So I need to sell my services all the time. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah, not a, it's, a, it's, it's really interesting. How did you become, how did you change this? um state from programmer to salesperson ah yeah but because you need to pay your bills <laughs> simple <laughs> simple but i don't so yes i i i think i discovered that mm. no but i don't really because discover that because i was more or less involved in the startup ecosystem and I know if you don't have any clients, you are not going to do anything. <laughs> and I am as an India hacker as well. So in the India hacker, there is, so you don't like create a master plan for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Your plan is to make $1. How yeah. do you make $1? You find a client and that's it. And after that, you can scale that to $100 and after that to thousands and 10,000 a month. Uh, so it's really, the top priority <laughs> so that's how i never discovered that one day oh i'm a salesperson <laughs> just because i was i was like launching small projects and things like that and when you do this kind of project you just need to find clients otherwise there is there is no point so you talked about launching small projects so do you create some tools and then find clients for that what do you mean? Ah, oh, no. Uh, yeah, so you create... Uh, so, for example, I, I use Gumroad for that. Mm -hmm. um, it's... Yeah, it's... Geez, uh, these guys are genius. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, a lot of uh, the content, if you want to work at Gumroad, it's open. You can uh, assist to use a company meeting and things like that. And they help you to build products. So, for example, Yuri, you want to launch a book about a newsletter, no, a book, let's say a book about the top 10 things to do in the freelancing world. You just go on Gumroad, upload a PDF and you can, you can uh, have a lot of tools. Uh, like uh, you have a checkout, you can send emails, write posts. You have some analytics about the audience analytics. You can have coupons for Thing like so let's say oh if the 10 first people take that mm -hmm. there is a 50 percent discount all these kind of things to be honest it's nice because it forces you to focus on what's important yeah wow it's really cool it's it's kind of a sales machine i would say uh yeah it's helped to be honest yeah it helps to be honest if you when people say ah yeah i want to launch a product yeah do you have a gumroad link no, create that. Find one client and after that, work on your features. Because there is no point to work on a feature XYZ if you don't have any clients and they don't pay. That's, that's most important. Even if they pay just $1 or $5 or thousands, if you are lucky, 10,000 if you are lucky. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. you know, I, I love the saying that. Uh... When you're working with some company or some startup and they're like, oh, we send this survey and like 100 people are ready to pay us. And it's always a question, did you send them an invoice? 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Otherwise, I'm not going to work for free. If I work for free, I will work for Mozilla. <laughs> no, but it's, I'm real do open source or something like that. So it's different. So once again, not talking about uh, paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What is the most nerve-consuming thing you must deal with? I understand that paperwork is super nerve-consuming, but out of that, outside of that. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. It's it's recruiters or hiring <laughs> managers or they are they <laughs> they just don't read. <laughs> so, for example, I have a lot of people who send me a message on LinkedIn. Hi, you have an amazing profile, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I want to work with you. Okay, mm -hmm. no problem. Just can you just please uh, fill this little form? I know I ask questions like email, uh, what is the project? Really basic questions to frame the, to scope the project. And uh, there is a lot they don't they don't answer to the message mm -hmm. <laughs> they just don't fill the form some people uh, send me a message hey can we uh, have a phone interview no <laughs> fill the form <laughs> no. first there is no way <laughs> we will have a phone interview a phone are you from the past and um, <laughs> that and so uh, was the most um, nerve consuming some people so let's say uh, they plan a meeting at 10 a.m okay mm. why not um and they just don't show up to the they don't show up yeah they don't show up and even though if they fill the form and they fill two forms because they fill my main airtable form and they fill my main cal form with where they have access to my calendar mm. and sometimes they don't show up and plus, they take the interview at 10. So basically, my morning is screwed <laughs> or my evening is as well. So I think, uh, yeah, that that and people who don't pay in time because yeah. it's like, yes, please, please. It's on my on the back of my head and it bugs me. I need to send a follow-up email, please. <laughs> Do you ever go to meetings one more time if they send you like oh i'm sorry i oh uh, no too late too late it's like in the football okay and right. what do you do with you those have... people who are not paying you oh no it, de it depends but it depends oh yes i quit it's the same if they don't so if they don't want i have one situation one time if they don't yeah, you know, it's like, oh, yes, uh, we have this backlog uh, in Jira with all our ideas. And when you start digging on it, it's one liner, like create this, create a website, one line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but create a website. On, it's not, it's not granular at all. There is no way I can evaluate that first. And second, you don't know what do you want. So, and um, so there is no way we will be on the same page because I don't have all the information. So at the end, uh, they say, ah, oh, yes, but we can't pay you because you don't deliver much. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I will send my last invoice and the, and just quit because I don't do bureaucracy and politics and things like that. I don't, I don't play the Game of Thrones game. <laughs> <laughs> I just quit. It's like way too hard to convince people that you are working or thing like that. It's like I prefer, yeah, I prefer working with someone else. To be honest, because, yeah. And why? Why to waste your time? You know? Yes, yes. Yeah, my time is valuable. There is no way. I understand. It's, it's um, some people needs. <laughs> what are you working on? I prefer to have website in production and makes people happy. <laughs> yeah, totally. David, if your friend wanted to become a freelancer, what are top three things you'd advise them to consider before doing it? Ah, yes, yeah, so it's test. So create a honeypot. You know what is a honeypot? <laughs> yeah, it's in... like financial caution. Ah, uh, no, it's uh, in the security. So in the security, if you tap hacker honeypot, it's um, so for example at your company you create a honeypot with a database like a database somewhere 
for the hackers who want to hack you, they will go on this database and not your real data. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you can do the same for hiring, just create a John Doe profile <laughs> and try to sell your services just to test the market mm. if you can and uh, do one thing, but do it well. Like don't do web development, do React Native development because it's focused it's a niche mm -hmm. this, and you or you can target an industry like uh, copywriting for e-commerce website or uh, something like that or like uh, yes to for, choose a niche mm -hmm. because it's way harder to and people when they want to hire you they hire you as a specialist they don't hire you as a generalist you yeah. can be hired as a generalist in the company but when you work for a year for that for them when you're free in my case mm -hmm. in my case um i work with six months of, on average contract mm. yeah got it it's top one thing what are yeah two more two more uh <laughs> yes uh, that, yes uh, dynamic pricing because uh because uh for example yes people don't have the budget but they want to work for you so you can say okay so we will work together one day a month mm -hmm. uh, and you you can change yeah you can change you can always deliver value everyone is happy you are happy the client is happy and you have secured one day of work uh, and in the meantime, you can work on your sales or things like that. So always be open to what is your budget. What, And if they don't have the budget, be kind. Say, oh, so you don't have the budget. So let's, for example, when people want uh, to create a mobile app mm -hmm. on the store, I say, yeah, it's 100K the first year because there is no way <laughs> you would, um, it will be less because there is like, plenty of costs involved marketing and things like that and there is no point to create an app if you don't do marketing because no one is gonna download it yeah so if you don't have the budget it's okay just create a just go on google uh, sheet create a no code application as your first mvp and come back to see me when you will have the budget because it's not gonna help you and probably you will be happy with like a no code application to be honest uh, i don't know so, and if you, if you advise this to other people, they will be happy and probably tell to their friends and, oh, yes, I know a really uh, skilled guy helped me on that. I didn't have the budget, but you should uh, contact him. Yeah. Mm, so that and the third thing is obviously automate. <laughs> yeah, totally. I I wonder why it's not the first thing, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, of, yeah, yeah. I forgot to say, but yeah, automate the onboarding, uh, create forms, uh, automate your scheduling with a thing like Cal dot com. Uh, we talked briefly about Toggler mm -hmm. to automate. Uh, you can automate uh, the invoices as well. Um, create an email list, uh, thing like that. Yes, capture emails. It's important. Even if you don't know what you will do with that. <laughs> just have them. <laughs> just, yeah, just capture the email. I have plenty of emails. I send them emails like, hey, I'm available. Even if it seems you are not available now, you will be probably available in six months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically sell, be kind and help people and automate everything. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You know, David, I wish to have the sky as the limit, but time is the limit. So the final question is, if you were starting freelancing today, what is one thing you would have definitely done differently? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, tough question. Differently, uh, differently. Mm, uh, yes, I don't know. I think nothing, probably nothing because you need to you need to, ah yes choose another accountant accounting people <laughs> accounting <laughs> yeah but this is the same you don't have the budget for an accounting and 
and uh, you don't know how it works. So to be honest, uh, nothing. Just just be prepared that you are alone and it's a war and nothing is going to help us. Even if people want to help uh, you and you believe they are the truth, they are not. Don't believe in everyone. It's like in... Uh, it's like in um, this series with the zombie. This is Bruins in Sparta. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a, uh, yes, adopt this spirit. It's exactly that. It's exactly that. Yeah, David, thank you so much for sharing your challenges. And it's such a pleasure to learn from you. Yeah, thanks to you. I have something for the community. You should subscribe if you like it, but you should subscribe on every platform. Like subscribe on uh, Apple Podcasts, subscribe on uh, on uh, Google uh, Podcasts, subscribe on uh, Spotify Podcast because Yuri loves the vanity metrics. <laughs> yeah, and we all do. We all much. do. We all do. <laughs> vanity metrics is what drives the world. Yeah, of course. All about vanity <laughs> metrics. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just push the button and subscribe and share this episode with your friends and hit the like button or five stars. And that's it. We're done. See you in the next episode.